Our topic for today, why a lens in South Africa, a provocative analysis of a controversial national debate, will give us a deeper understanding of what lies behind the often mentioned term of social violence and crime prevention. In addition, it will focus on the social, political, economical and cultural challenges this strategy for safer communities in South Africa is confronted with. And believe me, nobody can explain the social complexity interlinking the cycle of violence and crime better than our guest speaker Anthony Collins, who is currently a professor in the School of Journalism and Media Studies in Rhodes University, Grahamstown. Um, I'm not really interested in saying, well, what are the causes of violence? Um, you know, what are the, the solutions? I'm, I'm really trying to, to make us reflect on when we, when we try and solve the problem of violence, we already have a theory. Everyone, the minister of police, school teachers, parents, um, everyone has a theory of violence, whether they know it or not. Um, and what I'm interested in doing is trying to say, well, what are the big South African beliefs about violence and why are they not very useful? Um, and what it does that I find most useful in my work at the moment is it allows us to examine the forms of violence that are socially acceptable. The forms of violence that are, are criminal actually aren't that sort of theoretically interesting. I mean, things like murder is not, it doesn't, we don't learn a lot from from, 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 um, from looking at the, the way in which sort of homicide is prosecuted as a crime in South Africa. There's huge support for the use of violence in apprehending uh, suspects. Um, there's massive support for, for, for the use of torture as a form of investigation um, in South Africa. And there's a lot of support uh, in terms of uh, violence and use of, as, as, as a use of, of informal punishment, like the community vigilante actions, um, that it's okay once you have suspected someone as a perpetrator of violence to, to, to take violent action against them, beat them, and in many cases also kill them. Um, and one of the two um, big ways this has come out recently in the, is the sort of public call for the return of the death penalty um, and in the introduction uh, in the last few years of this um, shoot-to-kill policy. Um, and it wasn't so much that the government sort of on its own thought, oh, we must introduce a policy that, that gives the police the right to murder civilians without actually having um, even found them guilty of any crimes. That They did it because that's what the public wanted. And the way in which they wanted to hear the government taking crime seriously was being brutally violent to suspected criminals. And in that sense, we like violence. We like using violence if, we, if it'll make us less stressed. We like using violence if we think it'll make us feel safer. We like using violence if we think it'll uh, stop someone taking a job that, that we want away from us. All of those kinds of things. As a society, we like violence, but we like violence that gives us control. We like violence that gives us security, that we like violence that relieves our feeling of stress. We like violence that relieves our feelings of vulnerability. I think it's very good, it's excellent, and I believe that the fact that we're together, we're talking and that you have a multitude of multidisciplines sitting around here means that I think a big step has been taken in the right direction. So thank you for that opportunity. Especially when it comes to corporal punishment and all of those other stuff. I think it was very it was very well planned and the slides I like the fact that he put on the slides as he was talking. Some people could even write down some notes. So I think it was very well organized and all of that. Um, the whole thing was so outrageous that from a news perspective how crime is treated and how violence should be separated from criminality. I think he raised some very valid points and I think nobody today will go away without having second thoughts quietly at home. Thank you for the privilege of being with us. Thank you. Thank you.